morning guys so just a very quick video uh, just dropped off my daughter from sc to school and we both decided you know some barbecue pulled pork might be in order it's very cold very rainy where we are today so why not quick little recipe so in my pressure cooker I have what is this two and a half pounds of chicken breast uh, I took it out of the freezer, it was frozen, had a little bit of an issue getting them to set in so I could close the cover. Uh, and what I did was I put two bottles of the honey barbecue sauce, poured them in, put some water in, shook it, and then put that in the pressure cooker. Uh, but we're not using it as a pressure cooker today. Uh, luckily, this has a slow cooker feature. It says it's on low. So that should be about, you know, six hours. Let's see if it lets me do it for eight. And I right, was able to put the lid in without a problem. Let me switch hands here. I'm going to leave it there for nine hours only because these are going in there frozen and you know it's going to be a while for my daughter to get back to school she has some activities after and I will come back nine hours later let's see how it looks hey guys so what I did was I pulled the chicken out of the basically broth after six and a half hours of cooking um, the chicken was falling apart I mean and everything was white everything was cooked so it made no sense to just leave it for another two and a half hours of having to dry out the meat even though it was in a wet environment um, I've run into that before overcooked chicken in a, in a crock pot as weird as that sounds so off camera I took the chicken out shredded it as finely as I could and with the broth still in the pressure cooker I put it on the brown setting and let it brown for about eight minutes let it boil so that the, the broth could reduce um, into a more you know thicker consistency once it did that I put the chicken just right back into the pot mixed it up and as you can see it's actually at the consistency I want. I didn't want it to be too sticky, but I, sh I sure didn't want it to be like soup. Um, that would defeat the purpose. And so what I'm going to do with that, make a sandwich, of course. Uh, I took a wheat roll, buttered both sides, stuck it in the air fryer for about, I don't know, six minutes. And it's nicely brown. So what I'm going to do is after this cools for a little bit more is, you know, just make my sandwich. What I might do is something a little bit different, a little experiment I was thinking of uh, before I made this segment. I've seen people put on the bottom bun like chips, um, salt and vinegar chips, potato chips, stuff like that. Obviously, the, the classic thing would be. Uh, what is it? Coleslaw. I'm not much of a coleslaw fan myself. I mean, that's just me. So I'm going to do something weird and just put some cheese curls on the bottom. Yeah, I know that's way out there. But it's just an experiment I'm going to try just to see how it is. Um, but otherwise, you know, everything is done. I'm very happy how this came out, um, especially like I mentioned earlier. It's still very wet, still very rainy, very dreary. So this will, you know, brighten up my day. And I'll let you know in the comments how that sandwich experiment turned out. So I hope everyone else has a great day. Um, you know, take care and be good to each other.